Load the datum example file example data.tdm in order to follow this tutorial. This tutorial will demonstrate how datum can identify a channel event based on criteria for two channel conditions. Datum has two dialogues to assist with an event search task. From the analysis panel, browse the menu option Channel Functions and select either Event Search or Event Search Free Formula. It is the author's opinion that Event Search Free Formula is easier to use. From the analysis panel, browse the menu option Channel Functions and select Event Search Free Formula. The dialog Event Search Free Formula will appear. Clear out the dialog inputs so they appear as shown. We want to look for the condition where the channel speed has a value greater than 40 meters per second and the channel torque is greater than 200 newton meters. Under the section, Channels to be analyzed, click on the first row in the table to the right of the label 1 under the column Identifier and assign the value of A. To the right of that, drag and drop the channel speed from the data portal into the field labeled channel. Click on the plus icon to add another condition and then repeat the process for the channel torque, but this time assigning the identifier of value B. In the tab Result Storage, the options Condition Fulfilled and Condition Not Fulfilled establish what the result channel output will be. You want the value to be 1 or true when fulfilled and 0 or false when not fulfilled. At the top of the dialog, Enter the formula value of A greater than 40 and B less than 200. Toggle a setting in the dialog to cause the result data chart to be updated. The result data plot on the bottom right will show graphically when the data will meet the conditions set for the dialog. In the data portal, select the channel group example and then right-click and choose the menu option Set Default Group. Click the Calculate button at the bottom of the dialog and then click the Close button. Datum will create a new channel named Event Status in the default channel group. This channel has a value of 1 when the condition is met and a value of 0 when it is not. In the next tutorial, the event search results will be used to visually show when the speed and torque channels meet the event search condition.